Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you two of the best ways to get stretch resolution in Fortnite. So, if you have wanted to get stretch resolution, here is how to do so. Okay, so this first method is the one that I am using. So basically you want to quit Fortnite uh, and everything else. And uh, basically you just right click on your screen. Uh, then if this comes up, show more options and Nvidia control, uh, control panel. And uh, now if you get here, you basically want to go to change resolution and choose whatever you want. You can even customize here. Uh, I have made the 1680 by 1080 here and 1720 by 1080. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. But this will like put your whole monitor into the stretch resolution. So this is like native when I apply, like a black screen comes, I need to play yes and then my monitor is back to uh, the native resolution but if i go back to 1440 by 1080 it again stretches it so yeah right now i have basically just stretched my whole monitor so everything is stretched every other game i play like valorant or something then there is going to be stretch res in there as well uh, youtube if you watch youtube that is going to be stretched but honestly, I just uh, got used to it and uh, now I just play Fortnite and every other game with that. And yeah, this this is good uh, for like not getting black bars because there's like no physical way of uh, the stretch rest just going off and you're getting black bars. So yeah, that's the bonus of it. And uh, yeah, but if you don't want to put your whole monitor to stretch race I'm going to I'm going to show you the other way as well that I know that like all of the pros use and uh, stuff like that it's not going to be a program or anything like that because those are just stupid not gonna lie okay so this next method I'm going to show you takes a little bit more time but it isn't something like that takes like an hour or something you just go uh, into search and to uh, search up percent local app data percent and just open the file now basically from here you go down to fortnite game uh, yeah you just need to find it i think i just went past it somewhere i'm blind yeah fortnite game save it config uh, then windows client and then this now you right click on this go to show more options properties and this should show read only right now, it should be checked. So uncheck it, press, press apply and OK. Now go to properties, uh, I mean not properties now, just go to uh, edit, yeah, edit. And uh, one way to change it, you can just uh, scroll down until you see the resolution, wait, let me see, yeah. Resolution size X, 1440, resolution size Y, uh, 1080. Like you can see, I have put it on stretch res. For you, uh, this should be all 1920, uh, 1920, and 1920, 1080. If you are on, uh, if you are on the native resolution, you know. And uh, I mean, the best way to like uh, change it quickly here is basically just go into edit. Uh, edit then go to replace and basically just put the 1920 here and replace it with 1440 or like whatever stretch resolution you want I use 1440 honestly it's really good for me and uh, then you just uh, put replace all and when you have done that it should have replaced all of the 1920s with 1440 so if you scroll down again the stretch resolution it's all changed like you can see so now if you go into game you should have a stretch resolution so yeah let's go and check it out also one thing I forgot is uh, that when you put this uh, like when you close this also go to properties and put uh, read only on again because then it will like read the read the stretch resolution and see like that you uh, change the resolution so you could use it in game so press apply okay and now when you go to fortnite you will have stretch resolution 
So yeah, here's uh, how it uh, is supposed to look like. Okay, so now I am in the Great Two map. Basically, you can uh, go to settings and show you it. it's 1440 by 1080. You can also go to full screen. And usually when I play on 360 FPS, I do not get consistent 360 FPS. But right now you can see that whatever I do, I'm still on 360 FPS. Like it, it improved my FPS a little bit. It's not like significant, but it is still something at least. And I don't know, I just feel smoother uh, on uh, stretch rest and stuff like that. So yeah, if this video helped you, like please be sure to like and subscribe because I am on my way to 1000 subscribers and it would mean a lot to me. So uh, yeah, enough yapping in this video. Uh, like and subscribe once again and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.